I'm Cindy with the polls. I'm Jason O'Mara, and I'm Batman. Oh my God, I love that. That's awesome. So, I mean, you've been involved in this for a lot of years now. How does it feel reprising your role? I mean, it's it's always an honor and a privilege every time I get to put on my metaphorical cowl. It's not a real cowl, obviously. It's just me and a microphone. But um, this is my tenth outing now as Batman, so I feel like I've earned this this one uh, to come to San Diego Comic Con with like a standalone Batman movie, and for it to be hush of all stories is is uh, yeah, it's it's amazing. I mean, it's just this iconic classic. Uh, Batman story and um, I was a big fan of the graphic novel already long before this and I was hoping and praying that A they would do Hush and B they would include me and I had no idea I thought they would do it with, um, with one of the other universes but they chose this one and so it's a, it's, it's a real thrill honestly and the relationship with Catwoman steamy yeah, yeah it's really steamy I, I was really surprised I actually got a little bit like my pants got a little bit <laughs> tight when I was watching it they're just cartoons yeah. but Jennifer Morrison is so good and there's such ca chemistry between her and Batman yeah. in this and there's like a beautiful musical score and the animation so beautiful like you get swept away in the love story and that is not like that is so unexpected for me because Batman has feelings like who knew well yeah I mean this this particular Batman has lots of feelings I mean this Batman's a father, so this this Batman is is far more emotionally charged than most others, and as a result, I feel like the line between Bruce and Batman has been blurred, and I think it's really an exploration into into him as a human, regardless of whether he's got the cowl on or not, um, and and how he feels and how he reacts and what he's got to do when his back's against the wall to save his own life and the life of his friends. Well, and what do you want people to take away from this movie, would you say? Oh, gosh, I just want them to be entertained. And honestly, I think it's the biggest, baddest Batman title in years, yeah. animated or live action. I think, I think it's entirely entertaining. And um, I hope they'll be moved as well. I think anyone who's followed Batman, whether it's this version or another, for this long, yeah. um, yeah. Has, deserves this, you know, and so I feel like I feel like this one's for the fans. Like some comic book purists might not like some of the departures. But we have to accept that this is a different medium. We have to accept that 15 years have passed or more, and we have to accept that this is part of a continuity of Batman that um, who's, who's who's a father, for example, to Damien. So. Um, yeah, I, th I, I think we took some poetic license, but I think it was justified, and I still think it plays gangbusters. Ooh, I love it. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. You're welcome, anytime. We'll see you guys. Bye.